Prince, I'm sure that you all know who Bill O'Reilly is. He is uh, certainly one of the spotlights on television, uh, speaking of the news, and he's a fine journalist. And he had on his program this gentleman you're going to see right now, John R. Bolton, 25th U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. And he asked him this question. Do you believe that our president is weak? And the result, of course, world problems. Well, he hesitated, but he pressed him for it, and John Bolton said, Yes. Take a look at, please, this next picture. Ineptitude at the top. How not to be a war president. There you see it, Syrios. Oh, my. And the new authoritarians. You know, throughout the United States, there are radicals uh, that are coming from the Muslim countries, and they have found support in the Obama administration, according to this article. Here's a magazine, World Magazine, with quite an article in it. And Jack, I appreciate it. Would you like to read this, please? Ladies and gentlemen, this is dynamite. Egyptian intellectual Assam Abdullah has a provocative reason why no democracy heroes have emerged. The U.S. Islamist lobbies, with an ear at the White House, have ensured that there aren't any. Hmm. Abdullah says that months into the Arab Spring, he and other Egyptian freedom fighters realized that the Western powers and the Obama administration have put their support behind the new authoritarians. Through their proxies in the United States, the Muslim Brotherhood, the Islamic Nahda of Tunisia, the Justice Party of Morocco, and the Islamist militias in Libya's Transitional National Council systematically received United States support, writes Abdullah. And I'll tell you, it's bothering me. As I've said during the program, we've put billions into Afghanistan. This little Karzai has no respect for us whatsoever. He's probably living off the fat of some of the billions. He wants us out of there. And those 65 murders are being released to kill more of our troops. And then, of course, you know what's happened in Iraq. They're back to killing one another. Plus, we just read about what happened in China with the Uyghurs, militiamen from the Muslim area of China, eight to 10 million of them. And there's more. It's not stopping, ladies and gentlemen. The same day, 91 Nigerian Christians were killed by the Boko Haram. 